Welcome back, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here with my continuing playthrough of War in the East. Of course, we're playing the Road to Leningrad scenario this time. Still, I'm learning the game. We're playing a big, grand um, playthrough of the War on the East, the whole, the whole thing. Just trying to hype up the idea someday that we're going to do this. The big, the full map, everywhere kind of thing all at once. That's the hype that we are looking at doing. So let's continue this. It's time, I believe, to end the turn now. Yes, end the turn. Okay, there's the Bring up more fighter and unit air units. That's one area that I do need to learn a bit more is the best use of air power. Because I know it will automatically, to some degree, um, intervene in other actions that are going on. Delivering supplies. Now, see here, this is what I'm, some of what I'm talking about is they're interdicting the movements of some units. Trying to withdraw out of my trap. A carefully laid trap. No, it's not a carefully laid trap, but it is a sort of trying to surround them. Nothing that clever, really. Okay, as you can see the totals in this turn. What? Not that much happened this last turn. As in destroying mostly, I'm advancing there hiring trying to get out of this pocket and they have to a little bit of a degree here okay well very good and evacuating the population Back there, but we can. Okay, we can't get across that river, unfortunately. Surrender and retreating, keeping up pressure. We'll think about that. Sometimes things are pretty like cut and dried as to what would be best. Looks like they retreated. So you got a cavalry screen out in front of the Narva River Swamp area. Well, Send up this way. Sort of occupy out 
Baltic States area is better. Oh, they're trying to retake this city here. Well, that's gotten somewhat reorganized. Well, hmm. Yeah, yeah, gamer, you're such a brilliant general. Mm hmm. Can't figure out what to do. Well, I sort of got conceptually, but, um. that way a little bit more but driving their HQs pushing them back where to capture them but This guy looks pretty tough here. So we're going to be cautious when we hit him. This looks like a counterattack developing to me at least. Held. Yeah, they don't have not enough action points. Good, they're routed. My tendency, just to sort of explain this, is to just keep pushing everywhere all the time. That is very much in my my strategy. Um, 
uh, focus or my tactical focus but I'm looking at seeing 22 15 those are concerning to me um, those are its defensive values don't know what it will be when it goes offensive necessarily well, seven or six or whatever but so um, obviously I can see about hitting this guy I can hit this guy with you know a fair amount of ease but what does that really sort of get me Where's their HQ here? Okay. Yeah, you're a bit too far behind. Gotta learn to keep these guys up closer. There's its HQ. Keep it up there. my understanding again please someone correct me if i'm wrong um they'll have more action points etc if they at the start of the turn if they are um in command range and no i am not good at keeping things in um in order as it were Again, that sort of push, 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 always push, always try to keep the enemy off balance. And so I'm wondering, <clears throat> should I try with these guys to hit up into here? Um, they had too few action points, but, you know, hit here. I'll hit, okay, let's hit there. Okay, that clears that out of the way, routed, and they're basically now. Lack of fuel and or um, command. Okay, that's too rough of terrain for them. And or this. Okay, so that's there. So, um, these guys. Looks to be a good move there. Just too rough of terrain, I guess. Um, well, they're sort of holding along the river there. them back here good of course okay, now they're now stopped here Good bullet, so I got rid of that enemy tank unit. I just pushed it back there. Now this should let supplies flow better. This is their HQ, keep you guys moving forward. Okay, these have, what are these? Um, fighters, bombers, reconnaissance. Um, uh, I'm sure I could look it up in the manual, but I don't know right now which 
aircraft type those are. And so these have those got to be fighters. Um, I put unit detail. Okay, that will tell me. Um, okay, these look like um, reconnaissance aircraft, if I'm not mistaken. Um, all right, well. Well, maybe they're. Okay, here, let's wait, click. Okay, now these are the bombers. The yeah, U88s. Okay, so we want to move. Let's move these guys up to here. Okay, um. Yeah, I sort of like where that is. Where is it? Subordinate commands. Okay, one's down there. So these have a great element. One's up there. I think. Okay, so. Okay, here's all of the fighters, it looks like. So let's get these guys. I'm just, quite honestly, I'll tell you, I'm very far from knowing what's going on. What I want to do here is come here and do this. I want to see how, okay. Okay, we need to, I guess, get, I didn't know if I could, if this, obviously it looks, the map looks, that you need to get this to get that, but I didn't know how it worked, so. This is the railroad, so I can move this on any of the railroads we properly um, control and maintain, but we didn't connect that. So let's go back to regular movement. So here, let's go down to here. Notice it's three because we're outside of the Baltic zone. you and well that was sort of a messed up turn but oh well at least we got that solved now our um, railroads will function better part of my hesitation with moving the um, the air around it well ignorance of course is a major element of it um, But ignorance of supply needs and how well, uh, how long does it take for the air power to effectively get to the new location? Okay, here's a bunch more of our bombers, so let's get them up. HQ and more bombers and fighters, so let's get them along that rail rail blah, rail route that we know we can move supplies along is what I'm trying to do. I was sort of hoping for more forces to show up, but maybe not. Okay, well. Um, can we go here? Looking at trying to get a couple of these guys out here, so, um, let's do a prepare attack against the armor.
off. Getting fuel and supplies good. Where's your HQ? Probably somewhere way off somewhere else. Okay, up here is it? No, where is your HQ? So lost to it. Hmm. Oh well, I don't know right offhand. Okay. Tendency is to want to come this way. Okay, well. Okay, not a great turn, at least by my thinking, but... They were attacked, bombed. Okay, let's end this thing. See what they do now. Do they counterattack or do they withdraw? We got a huge amount of forces up around Leningrad, St. Petersburg, and as I was reminded on another episode, Petrograd, which I wasn't even thinking. I've, of course, heard of Petrograd, that it was called that for a while, but um, not a name I normally associate with Leningrad slash St. Petersburg. wonder how the Russians, especially those that, that live there, see it, because, of course, I grew up with it being... Leningrad, both as in sort of the Battle of Leningrad, you know, the siege, the trying to starve the people out kind of thing from World War II, as well as that's what it was currently called in World War II was, um, or I mean, it, during the Cold War, it was called Leningrad, you know, under the Soviet Union, that was the name. And I knew historically way back whenever it was St. Petersburg and that, and I, growing up and through a much, I had no concept that the Soviet Union was just going to go away. And then, it, you know, did. And then, oh, it's immediately back to St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg, not like Petrograd or whatever, you know. I guess Petrograd is what Peter's Townburg um, equivalency. I don't know quite what the Russian is, but you know, because Leningrad, Stalingrad, Petro. So, you know, it's as in a, oh, well, they formed a defensive line there. How interesting. How interesting. Looks like they were trying to withdraw these security troops. Okay, well, let's see if we can push a bit more here. 
Oh, this is interesting. Very interesting. So we're trying to form a front line. I've got to know I can smash through it in parts of it here. Well, again, I'm going to turn this on just so everyone can see here and here. Hmm. Okay, the rest of this unit is moving this way, so we're going to move you up to here. They take them out. Now these guys here. Let's just do this. They're moving up. And I want to make sure I don't have these guys selected. Just them. Um, that's enough to put those security units. Move you to Oh, that's interesting. Okay, well, um why does it not want to cross there? I don't like that. I like that I can't Push there more with this unit, okay. Hmm. 
security unit pissing me off. Still pissing me off. Okay, well. Now. Okay, 107 bombers plus a bunch of fighters. And we're going to hit these strong units, hopefully helping them get disrupted and messed up okay well, let's go back to this mode Treated. And it's able to retreat a lot. Messing up my plans to take talent at this moment. in supply, move command and control range. Okay, now I want to, you know, I want to check out. Okay, good. This railway's connected properly now. That is good. You see these other ones are slowly going about it. Let's change the mode here. Learn from my mistake. Not selecting that one. Don't know if I need to, but um, why isn't it letting me fix these railways? Strange. Okay, well, not understanding all of that. Now, let's see, can we get sort of tricky and fancy and Of course, my tendency is wanting to push the armor up to here as fast as possible, but I see that as being not the best solution here. You just sort of get overwhelmed. So, what I'm 
thinking of doing is through some of these security type units That messes up their pretty little line, that's for sure. Yeah. Get their HQ up here. Six motorized division. Okay, we captured a bunch of fuel and other supplies and tested a bunch of units out. Okay. Now, um, I want to make sure they couldn't just do a rampage right down in here. I don't know how easy for them to punch through that will be. Okay, that routed them. Pushes these guys into a much more difficult position there.
like I said, my tendency is wanting to rush there, but let's see if we can keep from doing that. I sort of like where that is. Okay, we have these guys here. Where are your units mostly? Oh, there you go. Okay, you're up there. Still out, but I don't want to risk the HQ too far forward. That would be far enough. Let's occupy the town with you. Well, that routed another. Cool capturing. Flies. Cool. Get across that river. That's good. Take that spot, okay, well. Oh, I don't want to get too far forward with some of those. All right, well, we're going to end the turn here. Um, come back next time to see how the Soviets react to our advances. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for liking the videos. I really do appreciate that. And of course, um, please post questions, comments, suggestions, tips. Um, love hearing from you. See you next time.